Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Then he is fast of us. Maybe it's just me, but I'd swear you're upset. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. I remain at your side. This place is so dismal. I think I need a bath. Do you think I need a bath? I think Bianca's gotten scratched. Why are you still here, Varric? Starkhaven's too pretentious for me, and Cumberland's too boring. You always say you hate commitment, but here you are, six years later, still at Hawk's side. Dabbling. I thought you'd have noticed by now. I lie a lot. It really is, you. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while Mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... Fenris, we have to get out of here! Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris, don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new mistress, then. The champion of Kirkwall. Quite lovely. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Daenerys. <sighs> the word is master. Thank you. 
You are no longer my master. I had no choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister. You have no idea what we went through, what I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. Wait, don't kill her. Why not? She was ready to see me killed. What is she to me other than just one more tool of the Magisters? This is your family, Fenris. Elf and Fenris. I know how hard this is to believe, but this is the last thing you want to do. Get out! You said you didn't ask for this, but that's not true. You wanted it. You competed for it. When you won, you used the boon to have Mother and I freed. Why are you telling me this? Freedom was no boon. I look on you now, and I think you received the better end of the bargain. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. I'm here, Fenris. You heard what Verania said. I wanted these. I fought for them. I feel unclean. Like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. Let's go. I need to get out of here. <laughs>